DocuMate is a platform for creating document automation, intake, and more. This video is a quick run through of DocuMate's basic features. First, I'm going to show you a live workflow. Then, I'll show you how easy it is to set up. So, let's get started. A workflow is a set of questions or data inputs, like the ones you see here, that takes you down a decision tree and generates a set of documents. So first I'll show you this live workflow, which is a web application that takes me through the process for generating an employee offer letter and accompanying documents. All the questions on this page have been customized by me, and you can white label everything. The questions, the colors, the logo, the fonts. I chose to add a video in my workflow, and you can omit this or add images, audio, or video for added customization. So this is what your end users will see whether that's people internally at your company or external users. And they'll be able to just enter information on this web form and based on certain logic that you've set up, so for example, if I say I'm married, the spouse's name question will show up. Based on how questions are answered, other questions will open up and guide you down the right path. Now that you've seen a live workflow, the most important part is how easy is it for you to set this up? So let's go to the dashboard here and we'll create a new workflow, which I'll call employee offer letter. Where before we were on the end user interface, now we're on the builder interface. The builder view has two main tabs, the questions tab right here and the output documents tab right here. The questions tab is where you're going to create all the questions and ask for the data that you want in your workflow. So let's start with the questions tab. You can add a title for your page. So I might call this the general information page and I'll be able to skip lines and add additional text if I wanted to add some narrative to the page, page title. Now on each page, I can add a series of different types of blocks, starting with questions which ask for specific data information, integrations, and some advanced features. Our questions are comprised of things like text questions, where you can ask for the user to enter freeform text, text area, which allows you to enter a narrative, multiple choice and checkbox, which allow you to do multi-select and single select, and a bunch of other options to add validation to the inputs. So let's start with a text question, and we'll ask, what is the employee's name? every single one of our questions is going to get a variable name. Now the variable name is very important because it's what you're going to use to identify this question throughout your workflow. So here I'll use something like employee name because that makes sense to me. Now let's add another question. We'll add a multiple choice question and we'll ask what is the employee's marital status? We'll label it marital status and we'll give three options, married, single, and divorced. Now, the reason I ask this question is because I want to show you all the different types of logic that you can add into your workflow. You can add logic to the questions that are asked. You can add logic to the pages that are displayed in the workflow. You can add logic to which documents are actually generated. And finally, you can add logic to what clauses and phrases and calculations are actually displayed inside of the documents. So let's start with some question logic. I'm going to add another question asking for the spouse's name. Now, I only want this question number three to appear if question number two, marital status, is married. So what I'll do is I'll go to this logic tab and click show if marital status is married. And now when I run my workflow, this question will only show up if marital status is married. Now we can do the same exact thing with page logic. So if we add another page here, we have the option of adding page logic with these branching logic arrows at the top right. Before we move on to the documents, I wanna show you one more question type here on the questions tab. And that is the repeating item question type. A repeating item allows you to collect information about anything that there could be zero of or hundreds of. A really good example of that is children or shareholders or anything else where you don't know upfront whether the user who's gonna be entering the information is going to have zero or one or many. So the way that this works is you'll enter the item name. So let's use the example of children. 
Then you'll add the initial question, which is the first question that the user will be presented. Then we'll ask about all the different attributes of this item. So for example, for my children, I might want to know the child's name, the child's date of birth, and the child's favorite vegetable. Now, when I run this workflow, I will be able to add all of the children that I have with each of their names, dates of birth, and favorite vegetables. And that will display as a list that I can then put into my document in any way that I want. There are a variety of other question types and instruction blocks that I won't display on this short demo, but you can see them in our other videos. Now, now that we've set up our questions, we're, what we're going to do next is to set up our documents. Documents can be either PDF fillable field forms, so government forms or court forms, or they can be Word documents. I'm going to demonstrate today how to set up your Word documents. Here I have a sample document that is an employee offer letter, and I've already loaded the document Word add-in on the side here, which is very easy to get from the Microsoft Store. And I've selected the workflow that I'm working with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert variables and add all kinds of logic into this document, starting with simple variables. Simple variables are a little bit like mail merge. So what they do is they take the information that you've entered into the workflow and they directly input them into the document. So if you recall, I had the employee name variable and I want that to go here in my document. So I can either Pull my cursor over here or just delete this and insert that variable and it's going to insert the variable for me i might add a few other variable names so for example if i wanted an address block up here i might enter the employee's name and then the street address which is also a variable i added to my workflow and the city state zip and that will be my address block up here. Anything that you do in Word, so for example, if you highlight this and bold everything, or underline or italicize, all of that will take effect in the final document. So if all of this is bolded, the final variables will also be bolded. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is logic. So for example, let's say I have this phrase in my document that says your partner will also receive benefits. And I only want this to show in my document if the person is married. What I can do is I can go to the show phrase when tab and I can select from any of my variables. I've added quite a few other variables and I'll choose the marital status variable, which you saw me set up. And I'll say show phrase when marital status is married. I can also add additional Boolean operators. So if I wanted to say and or some other factor is true, I could do that as well, but I'll keep it simple for this. So I'll say show phrase when marital status is married and I will, just like I showed you, just pull my cursor over the section that I want to be conditional and I'll click insert condition. So what this just did is it inserted two bookends for my condition. The starting bookend, which is if marital status is married, and the ending bookend, which tells it where that condition is supposed to stop. So in this case, if marital status is married, then this phrase will show up in my document. If the marital status is not married, then it will not. You don't need to learn any of this syntax yourself. It's all being input by our side system. But if you did want to learn it, it's all pretty easy to understand and read. Now I want to show you a few more things in the word added. You can also do numerical calculations. So if you wanted to add, subtract, multiply, or divide different numbers or format them in any way, that's possible. And your equations and calculations can be as complex as you want with orders of operations and parentheses in there if you prefer. You can also do date calculations. So for example, if you wanted to calculate the length of time between two dates, or if you want to add and subtract time from a date. And finally is the repeating item. Repeating items are going to give you a lot of power in your workflows. So if you recall, we set up the children repeating item and we had child name as one of our values. And we can also add the other values here as well. And with the word add in, we can choose how we want that information to be displayed in our document. So let's just go over a quick bird's eye view of the platform. The first step is going to be to set up all your questions. 
Next, you'll want to add logic to your questions, to your pages, and then you'll want to set up your document. If it's a Microsoft Word document, you'll set it up in directly inside of Microsoft Word with, your, with the Word add-in. If it's a PDF document, you'll load that PDF document right here and tag those variables. Then you'll want to load all of the documents that you want generated into this section right here. You can also add tons of logic to these documents and which documents are actually generated at the end of the process. So you can set conditional documents that are output. And you can choose where those documents go. So do you want them to be displayed at the end of the process? Or do you want them to be sent to a particular email address and not displayed to the user at the end of the process? And that's it. So you set up your questions, you set up your documents, and you're ready to run your workflow and share it with your colleagues, use it internally, or share it with your clients.